everybody. As you can see, what we're doing today is getting ready to uh, put the tarpaulin on the top. Now this is the raw cut tarpaulin, it's not the finished tarpaulin. And then we got a mark where all the, 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 the ends of these are and all the corners and stuff. So it's a proper fit. And we're gonna have to tie some rope from there over there. We're gonna have to tie a fishing line from here down to the tip of the bow here where my wife hung her windbreaker. And from there, somewhere over to a loop we're gonna put on the side here. Show you the loop I got in my pocket. You've seen it before. Not, not that, but these are the clips we're gonna to use to clip that line onto this loop here. So, yeah, see like this. This little loop will be here. And there'll be one on this side too. It's got two, two sides. And the same here, we're going to go from up there down to here with the loop. Again, my this is going to go here, and then there'll be another one on the opposite side there. We're going to use bolts and nuts, not screws. Screws will rip out bolts and nuts through, all the way through both of these from side to side all the way through bolts with uh, self-locking nuts. I believe I got self-locking nuts for these guys. Little, I think these are 3 16 holes. So anyway, and the same on that hole. So that we can tie from there, over there, from here, down to here, and from there, there, over to, over to there. And the same with the back. We have to do the exact same thing with the back here. It's a little different because, you know, because we don't have these pointy, tips on the side but we got a good place to mount it anyway so it's going to go from here down to this tip and again we're going to have these guys here you know two of them and then from here over to well, let's go to this hole because it's easier to it doesn't have anything covering it but basically right down here it's going to go right there and through into into this side here so this lip here, this uh, extra thickness of this outer trim will uh, keep the nuts from hitting you. So it's going to be really close to uh, where this here is so that it uh, doesn't get in the way. People don't scratch your knee or anything. On the hey everybody. Alright, I think we got, well what we did, I, I know that originally I showed you this one and this one. The problem with that is whenever you come from up there and you have your line coming down here and you clip it on here it rubs on this and it'll rub through the paint and then the wood and then the wood will get wet and then all this will rot so i uh, when we went to the back of the boat we actually did it like this where you put it on front and back so now you clip and it goes straight up there's no rubbing there's no contact with the boat anything like that and we also you know of course always put them on both sides because this one pulls against this one and it's just a good way to secure and we got another little loop on the front should we need the back doesn't have these side ones because like i said i didn't think it would work that well uh but and again we're going to cut these off these long bolts with uh, uh angle grinder and get that done but we got that part done and at the back i wanted to get the lines run too but we just didn't ran out of time i don't know it's five something we got to go to yeah, a little bit after five here and uh so anyway yeah here you can actually see it we're going to clip these have these little clips here that'll clip and go through i'm not saying there we've got these little guys here that we're going to weld on somewhere somewhere i don't know where maybe up there at the top but i think that may be too close to being vertical you need more of an angle to, uh, you know, because that's there. In fact, this thing here is going to actually be on the end of that, like that. And this width here is the exact width of that uh, stainless steel there. So it's going to go on there like that, facing that way. And that one's going to have the same thing on it, facing this way. And we're going to tie the rope, or clip. We're going to have clips, hopefully clips like this, that we can... Uh, just clip and unclip. I tried to tie like a fisherman's knot, 
in this, but this thing is just 150 or 180 pound test, and it's just heavy duty stuff. It's not, <laughs> not flexible. But anyway, I just messing around trying to see how to we could pull this thing tight just using this. Of his drawing tight one that they need to sharpen. Hey everybody, what we did, we just took this and you kind of missed it. I should have showed you the before and after, but obviously these bolts were too long. They were sticking way out here, so I cut them off so people don't get their shirts hung on it or his arm or whatever get messed up. I'm going to file this down with a, with a flat file and make this so there's no sharp hey everybody. here. Well, I should have started YouTubing earlier, but anyway, look at all these crazy lines and strings and things going everywhere. Well, what we're doing, we're actually preparing to mark the tarpaulin. So we've got lines, ropes, and we also tied our, our, our little tension lines here to keep that guy from going th these different directions. We got him tied down here to the front, and these are all temporary, so don't though my goodness look at all that extra line he's got flopping there yeah all that's going to come off and it'll be all cleaned up but let's measure anyway honey okay. you're up there and uh i need to be up here okay so i need to get up here to get up here That's the wave. Okay. I will get up here. I don't kill myself. I can't hit this one, but I can kind of hold on to it for a little brace. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Got caught on that little wire there. Okay, so we got to measure from here. over to the yeah just hook it on the inside there this is 100 inches 100 inches if you can see that right there exactly 100 this one's 100 okay inside to inside okay now we got to do this one it's going to be tricky but i can i think i can walk on the sides of those Boat here, the frame of the boat without flipping it. Hopefully, so nothing goes crazy here. With me doing my, and I'm trying to get under all of these lines here and back to this one here. The good news is nothing is broken yet. <laughs> so, okay, now we're back here. So that was 100. And the, the, the beauty of having a tape ruler that's wide like this, the more narrow ones will, won't, you can't just stick them out there like this and they'll stay straight, they'll flop down. Hang it on the inside. 90, 92. So 100 and then 92. Okay. 192. Okay. So we need one 100 and 192. We got to untie all that stuff, honey, over there. Now, what I did yesterday, I did a jump over the side and down. So we got to go to the welders and get that the stuff The other thing welded. we got to do is have a rooftop made. And that's going to be, a, there's a 17 inch rise. From my calculation, from the top of this to the top of this. And well, we could measure it again. Let's measure it again, honey. Let's put a coke of wood across these two. Okay, get back up on there. There's a light, lightweight one. Okay, this is lightweight. Let's we'll put this one. Go ahead. Honey, you're supposed to be on, well, you're supposed to be all over here. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you're going to crack this wood. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. You got it here. Set that on top. Don't let that one fall off. Set that on top. 
Okay, now measure from that string, listen to me, measure from that string coming down to so the bottom we got of a 14 this. inch, no, we got a 16 inch rise, which I said 17, I said 17 originally, but it's, and that would be okay, but what's it look like on this end? Well, it's only an inch here, so yeah, really, we got about, uh, let's say that's two inches, that's 15, let's go with a 15 inch rise, okay, that's a 15 inch rise, okay, we get the paper here, where's your pen, honey, I need to draw this, okay, one, and one half, here, to here, Okay, and then we have a, a 15 inch rise from here to here to here. This is a 15 inch to here. Okay. We'll have this thing going down, this thing going down. This thing going down, this thing going down, this one here to here, four inches. Okay, that's 15. Okay, so we need to untie that, get over there and untie that one. We've got to untie this one because this that one's made wrong. Car. And then we got to take it back to the welder and uh, have him fix it that's not the way it's supposed to be so we will be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island bye for now everybody what we're doing today is we are making the I guess you call it roof crusses um, like that like the angle up and the angle down and the bar across we're making that for the tarpaulin we're making two of them one is going to mount, I've got one of the spark pins here, so it's going to slide between that little gap to those two stainless steel pieces there, while the top is going to slide down in there with like a little fork like thing that keeps it from sliding this way. And that's going to keep these, when I pull the tarpaulin tight, because I'm pulling the tarpaulin tight this way, and that's going to try to pinch those, because there's one on the left, there's one right, there. when I pull it tight, it's going to try to those in while I'm on the spacer between here and the other one so that uh, when I pull the carbon tight it doesn't pull those in they stay fixed so that's what we're doing now so these are the little fingers for the fork that we're making now and this is one of the pieces the, for the front and this one's for the rear here so and then we got to make the little rooftop thing but we're waiting on the uh, the three fourths by three fourths thing to arrive they should be delivering it hopefully by noon so when that comes then we can uh, finish building the little rooftop thing so we will be back with more we're just cleaning up all the sharp edges and making them user friendly bye for now I'm actually welding the forks on now or the yeah the two little forks that slide on. Yeah, these ones are on down there. You can see the forks down there. I'll zoom in here and see if I can see. See, you got two forks. Whoops. Where's my camera? There we go. See that? So, that's the 11 16 gap between the two. So, there's plenty of room for a 3 4 inch uh, bar that will actually go across there for them to slide on and not have too much slop but slide comfortably without any problems so we are gonna put the second one on we'll be back with more in my paradise i'm italian island we're getting the forks on all right everybody we're getting to to the point where we're going to weld the center point of the truss and then from there it's going to angle down over to here and angle down from there over to there and i'll explain the u shape thing at the top later when it'll be a little more apparent what I'm doing so we will be back with more almost got the truss done and we also got our new material in too got the 
three fourths by three fourths for the top bar of the truck that came in. So, yeehaw, we'll be back with him in my paradise on the tiny island. We're making trusses for the sign they're in. Bye for now. Might be a better view of the truck. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, like that. It goes like that. And then they're down to there. And they're down to there. Hey, everybody. We're putting the finishing touches on the canvas uh, rafters. Right there. Right there. So, this one here. This is where we lay the the ridge line the ridge line there's two one by uh two three fourths by three fourths that lay here one goes that way and one goes this way so they're not too long i, I, I put the length up in half so anyway that is one raster kind of angle on the raster what we're trying to do here trying to make it so that the three-fourths by three-fourths sticks up higher than this sharp edge. And that way the, the, the tarpaulin doesn't rub on this and cut. So it, the three-fourths by three-fourths will be about an eighth of an inch higher. And then the tarpaulin won't ever touch that sharp edge. So we're cutting these down slightly. And then he's rolling down on there. Looks good though. Looking good. So we need this one now. I need to, you guys. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Yeehaw. So anyway, we're gonna do this, and we'll be back with more from my paradise. All right. right. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna. This was our first original one, and when we welded this little cross piece here. We weld it here, but on all the other ones, we weld it here. This is really where I want it so I can hang those little trusses, those little forks. We'll actually slide down this way, slide this way on there. So we got to cut this out and move it to here. So we're going to do that and we'll be back with more. Now we're going to do Put the weld on that. Got a little tink, tink stick. That's a rod of stainless steel, by the way. They melt that. It's like a plasma arc, and it hits that and melts everything. So. Hey, everybody. We are at the welders again today, and what we're going to do today, we got all the rooftop stuff, all the trusses or whatever you want to call them. But we got it. See these little things, these little forks? We gotta weld two more, one here and one there. I mean, set, and another set on this other one. You got one here and one here. We got a, uh, well, four on here and four on here. And they set on the center of that uh, roof truss. We're gonna call it a roof truss. That's what I'm calling it. But anyway, so you'll see. We're gonna go to the boat. I meant to bring my, uh, my hat cam so that we would, uh, uh, I'd be able to work with both hands and you can see what's going on instead of having to just wonder how did he get that done. So here we go. We're off and running. Bye for now. There's some shiny stainless. Hey, Bye for now. I'm trying to get these line, line, lined up. So that needs to go forward. Or you can just... Don't, uh, uh, you know, we only need one here, so you can just cut the back off. This one? Yeah, just cut that off. Okay. And that would be perfect, right? Because these look pretty straight. I mean, actually, it needs to go that way a little bit, but still, that's where the loop will uh, make a difference. So this is, this is our tarpaulin loop here. This holds the tarpaulin up. And then this one here, this one looks perfect. This is the perfect length here. Right there, do you see that? Yeah, once it's in the hole, the, you, you, you know, the, 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 the loose will hold it. So that's okay. And that'll keep it from rattling, you know, if it's tight. It, it won't be clank, clank, clank like that, yeah. Okay. So everybody, can you see that? This is our tarpaulin. 
support you. That's what we've been working on for a long time. Not done yet. We need to weld a little stainless steel loop there and one back there. And then uh, and then we'll be, uh, this will be done. We got to do some finish work on these little notches for the two to set in. And other than that, uh, then after this, then we can uh, put the tarpaulin on and see how to mark it to get it exact fit and then take it back to the tarpaulin company and they will uh, uh, cut it to my marks and put the holes in it in the right places and all that stuff. So we will be back with more. Look at this thing, man. Looks like we're building a condominium. So <laughs> we'll be back with more in my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. I don't know what he's doing. We'll see. Uh, right for now. More, a little bit more. Right there. Right there. That looks perfect. That looks good. Yeah. We're marking where the next uh, set of those little forks go. Yeah. And then we just cut this back off. Well, the loop there. Well, the loop there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't need that one. Yeah. He always uses a square and gets all his cuts just perfect. He really amazes me because you could just eyeball that and that'd be fine. But he'll he'll square it every time. He really does good work. Really good work. Okay, so everybody kind of get the gist of what we got going here. This is like a roof, basically rafters, and the tarpaulin goes over there with the center crest there, and voila. And everything cooks into these outer ones. And hopefully things don't wiggle too much this way. We're tying these guys down to hopefully stop the this shake. See with these guys. But the heat and the sun stretches. See how loose these are now? They just stretch out. They don't stay tight. So we got to come up with a better kind of a string or make these super tight or use these same ones. Something. Somehow we're going to have to fix that. But I got to help you with this. Bye for now. There's trampolines. Bye for now.